astronauts. Today we're going to do a bit of a sensory science experiment, or not so much of an experiment, but just something to get us using our hands. And it is going to help us feel like we are actual astronauts um, doing what astronauts do, which isn't just go to the moon, fly into outer space, but they examine different materials. So we're going to pretend to examine maybe some moon rocks, maybe bits of asteroids and meteors, uh, maybe some dusty planet material. And we're going to do that in our little sensory bin here that I used from a cupcake tray. So I'm going to flash over to our picture of materials so you can see what we're going to need for this project and then we'll get started. For this sensory experience, the possibilities are endless. We can start with a cupcake tray to organize our sensory materials. And for the main event, I used panko breadcrumbs because that's what I had, but you can use rice, you can use dried beans, you can use an entire box of salt and pretend that it is sand. Any dried household materials that you have that you can pretend could be sand or rocks and pebbles will work fantastically. So you have your cupcake tray, you have your pretend sand. I also used an egg carton, so that way the children have something to transfer the materials into. You can also arrange a set of cups and bowls if you don't have an egg carton. I have some tongs for them to grab, uh, some spoons, a funnel if you have, or you can make your own funnel some gloves to feel more astronauty, a magnifying glass if you have, um, and then some other materials that will appear like rocks or that you can just pretend are rocks for them to examine. I crumpled up some aluminum foil to pretend are asteroids, some cotton balls, you can pretend those are rocks, um, even some corks, which look nothing like space materials, but they're just some great sensory items that you might have around your home. And you might even have rocks. Who knows? Get creative. Use whatever you have lying around your house and see what you come up with. Have fun. Let's get back to the project. All right, now that you've seen what we need and you pause the video to collect all of those materials or whatever it is that you can find to substitute, we can get going and pretend to be examining scientific astronauts. So I'm going to put on my gloves just like the astronauts do because they don't want to get radiation or any materials, crazy materials on their hands because they don't know what's on these rocks. They have to test them. And I have this. I'm not gonna put it on for the whole video, but just to be silly. My space helmet! And I'm ready to go! Can you hear me? I have my tongs for touching dangerous materials! And I have my magnifying glass! so I can see them up close. But it's a little hard to see those things under my astronaut helmet. So I'm going to stick with my hands. I'm going to bring the camera a little closer so you can see. So let's take a look. So just experiment around so you can look for asteroids. Maybe you can sort them into your egg carton. Or you can pretend that your cotton balls are moon rocks. Maybe you use your 
pinching fingers to pick up your sand, sprinkle it in. If you have a funnel, you can also make a funnel out of paper and scoop it into the funnel. Watch it fall out. Okay. Looks like my funnel is a little small, so I have to shake it out. So it came out slow, right? It didn't come out fast. Let's see, maybe if I put it in just a little bit. Oh yeah, see, it came out faster if I put it in a little bit at a time. And if I use my magnifying glass, I can see my rocks up close. <laughs> right? So my magnifying glass helps make things look bigger. See, you have some corks. Those are always fun to experiment with. Those are a great sensory material to have around. You can always count. Let's see how many I have. One, two, three, four. I have four corks. I have my asteroids. Maybe I'm going to transfer more sand to one thing. If you're using rice, you can actually dye your rice with food coloring. You just have to let it sit out to dry before you use it. Otherwise, your hands are going to get covered in food coloring. So if you don't mind your gloves turning into a different color, <laughs> And who knows, if you have maybe little rocks lying around your house, you can put the rocks in. You can also take your gloves off and actually feel the texture of the sand or your pretend sand. Sprinkle it all around. Sprinkle it into your egg carton. So that's just a fun little project, little sensory project you can do. If you have Play-Doh, you can even, if you don't mind your Play-Doh getting destroyed, <laughs> you can push this into the Play-Doh, kind of turns into an interesting space dough. You can even make Play-Doh out of flour, um, a cup, you, you do, well, you would do about like two cups of flour, two to four cups of flour, a cup of salt, about a uh, cup and a half of water, you just have to work with it. And a little bit of oil to mix in, so that way it's not yucky and sticking all over you. And you can make your own plate out of it, you just throw it away. <laughs> and that's a fun project too, that you can even do with your kids. So that's my little spacey, sensory project for you guys so I'm going to head in my spaceship and blast off so signing off guys let's see what I can five four three two one